Hello all, welcome to rotarynews.com. In this session, we'll discuss about requisition approval workflow in Oracle Fusion ERP. So let's get into agenda. So we'll understand how do we enable requisition approval, and then we'll understand how do we customize a requisition approval, and also we'll understand how do we validate the status of a requisition which is submitted from the UI as well as from the database table. So let's get into the slide where we can understand how do you enable a requisition approval workflow. So you can navigate to setup and maintenance. You can search the task called configure requisitioning business function. Once you provide the task name, you can just search it and it'll ask you to just click on the link. Once you click on the link, it'll ask you for which BU you want to enable it. Select the BU and enable appropriate parameter in the configure requisition business function screen. So this is the first step in enabling the requisition approval workflow. Now, the next thing is like, uh, there are a couple of options we have in modifying or customizing the workflow. The first option what we have is like a manage requisition approval, which is via FSM task. Other one is using the BPM process, which is called requisition approval. So let us see the first option called manage requisition approval. So same thing, navigate to setup and maintenance, select the business function called procurement and search for the task manage requisition approvals. So once you search for the manage requisition approval, so click on search, you should be able to see this particular screen where it shows the predefined set of approval rules which are already available. So you can modify and add up, customize it, enable it, disable it, and that's how we can customize this particular one and as i said you we have two approaches so if at all if you are using this approach you cannot you like uh, if at all if you're using this approach this particular things whatever modify we modify here this will be copy to bpm workflow vice versa is not done vice versa is not available i mean to say if at all if, let us say if you're modified i'll show you that screen let us say if you're modifying this approval workflow using manage transcript manage task configuration for procurement, nothing but using requisition approval. If at all, if you modify using this BPM approach, and if you want to try to see the rules using this particular requisition approvals, you'll not able to find it, and you should be able to getting this kind of error, okay? So always try to stick to the approach which you want to follow, okay? So now if you consider this approach, let us say if you assume this is the approach you want to follow, and here you'll search for manage requisition approvals, and find out any of the role and in that you just add up your configuration i mean to say like i'll select any of the role here like uh, what are the roles which are available here i'll simply click on edit roles and then add up my customization there so you can observe here i just add a rule called xx approver where a simple task like where the amount is greater than zero and i just assign i want to assign the assign this this particular condition to this particular approval group like xx or approval group so whenever requisition is submitted and it will just come to this particular this particular you know like a rule and it will try to assign the approval to this user and also we have to make sure that you have to explicitly enable it and also you have to explicitly deploy it once you click on deploy the rules will get updated and then they'll be invoked and once you click on deploy and then make sure that you enable it and that's it so your particular approval workflow is ready for invocation and now this screen will come into picture if at all if you have already modified using the second approach else you'll not face any issue now this is the second second you know way of modifying it like a manage task configuration procurement so here you can observe here the the work the particular customization which you have done in the first step using fsm is it get automatically copied here okay but if you directly modify here the same thing will not get get copied into the first approach first one okay so yeah so this is how we can try to configure or customize customize the approval workflow. Now, assume that you have submitted your particular approval workflow and where can you monitor it? Like uh, whenever we run the, assume that you have submitted requisition and how do you know the status of it or how do you understand to whom it is assigned? And if you want to see the status of it, you can navigate to tools, transaction console and search for your particular requisition. And then you should be able to find out your requisition and then you can understand what is the hierarchy of it, like to who submitted, when it was submitted, with whom it is pending. These are all things you can find out from the transaction console. This is one of the approach for validating the status of your requisition. Similarly, from the backend table, like uh, we have a couple of tables which are available. Like uh, the main table I can say is the workflow task history table. Other one is a PO or equation address table where your equation is uh, like a equation gets stored, the base table of equation headers. And now the other important table is a PO action history in which you will have the information about the requisition action history. Nothing but whenever you submit your requisition, all the details will be available here. Like when it was submitted, with whom it is pending, who to whom it was assigned, all the information also you can get it from the action history table. 
and also you'll get the identification key from this action history table. You have to pass the identification key from this action history table to the workflow task history. And from there, you can get the status. I'll show that particular one, yeah, the SQL query. So you can observe here, this is a SOBA infra workflow history. And here, the input for this particular query is the requisition identification key that will be available in the action history table. So you have to join your requisition table with the PO action history so that you will be able to get the identification key. And that identification key you have to pass to workflow task history table and you should be able to find out to whom, when, what is the status, everything you find out. You can get it from the workflow history table. And now this is how we can also find out the approval details from the front end screen also. Let us say you can search for your requisition and you can click on this particular line level icon, approval details, you should be able to provide you the approver status like to whom it was assigned or whether rejected or error out error, everything should be able to get from here also now we'll try to understand all this information from the ui now so the first thing is let us understand how do you configure it right so i'll click on my user account click on setup and maintenance and select the business function as the procurement yeah it's already there so search for configure requisitioning and here you can see the configure, configure requisition business function. So should you select the business unit for which you want to configure the approvals. And here it provides an option wherein using this particular approval settings, you should be able to modify the or enabling the workflow for your requisition process. And the next one is manage procurement business function. So let us see the first approach. Yeah, this one, right? Manage requisition approval. Manage requisition approval. Yeah, so you can click on this one, approval management. And once you click on this one, it will navigate you to the FSM logic where you can enable the rules. So this is one of the rules which I have modified or I added here. I click on edit rules. I just added a condition here. And if at all, if the business unit is equal to so and so condition, and you simply enable it. Oh no, wait one minute. Yeah, so here you can see here. So from here, you can model, you can find out like uh, to whom it is assigned and yeah. You can get the information here You can observe here. This is the one where the approval amount is here. The line amount is greater than zero approval amount is, like uh, it will get assigned to this approval group and in the condition is where the amount is greater than zero, right? And this is stage header approval stage. Yeah, so what you can do is I'll try to disable this one. I don't want this one. And here I just want the this condition where we have the wait. Let us see it carefully. Yeah, this is the one. So the correct one is enabled only. Let me enable it. Yeah, it's fine. This enabled properly only. Now, what we can do is now try to configure it from the BPM. So, how do we do it? So, you can just procurement. You can see the task name here, as I mentioned in the screenshot. Manage task configuration for procurement. And here, once you click on this one, it will navigate to the BPM screen where you search. For your requisition approval, you just search for requisition approval. And here, click on customize. You can click on edit to customize it, and you can observe here whether any of the rule is enabled or not. So, it, if you observe here, there is nothing, not, none of them is enabled. So, it means there is some mistake still here. So, in the approach one, right? So, here, manage requisition approvals. that was not enabled properly. Let us see it carefully.
this one enable it yes now click on it again let's see Okay, the one which is with the first responder, the one which is with the first responder is the correct one. So I'll just try again. Yes, this is the correct one. So now I'll click on save and close. And now you click on deploy. Once you click on deploy, then only you should be able to find out the differences in the, here, this place, in the BPM workers. I'll just try to reload. Requisition approval. And the changes should be reflected here. Yes, perfect. So we should be, we are able to see this particular one got enabled here. And you should be able to see the same condition here. The one which should have copied from FSM to BPM work list. Acquisition rule, approval group, amount greater than zero. Okay, now next thing is we'll try to invoke or maybe submit a requisition and try to analyze the information from the backend as well as transaction monitor. So I'll navigate to the home, click on requisition, procurement requisitions, purchase requisitions, new, which is the VBCS page. I'll create a new requisition now. Click on enter requisition, requisition line. I'll select an item. Okay. And this should, and you can also observe here the business unit is user, US one business unit. And for the same one we have configured. And there should be some information here where you have to enter some more data. Yeah, it's generated now. Let's update. And observe the equation number. It is 204162. Click on submit. 204162 is our equation number. And for now, we can just try to execute the BIP query and let us see the information whether the equation number 204162 is available in the equation base table. Yeah, it got submitted. And yeah, it's okay. Let us observe from here itself. 204162, this is the one which is submitted. Pending approval, you can observe here. And you can also see here the pending approval at ID level. Click on this three accounts and click on view approvals. And generally, it takes a couple of seconds to find the information about the approval. So if you observe, it is not, none of, nothing is generated at this point of time. So what you can do is you can also validate the same similar information from the tool section of transaction console. Generally it takes a couple of seconds as I said to you. Let us see whether it is available at this place also or not. Click on tools. Yeah, transaction console. Right, so it is still running, you can observe here. It is in progress. It's not generated anything as of now. Now we can also observe the similar one. And here, let us find out. And for this one, this is identification key. From here, we can observe here, from the pivot equation history table, for the purchase, for the requisition number 204162, this is the requisition, requisition identification key. We can pass this information here 
and let us see what is the status of this information from the workflow history table. So if you observe here from the workflow history point of view, this participant is generated. Calvin Roth is a person which is generated, but it is not reflected yet in the UI. So it will take a couple of seconds, but yeah, perfect. We, should, we are able to see this Calvin Roth is a person which is assigned to for our requisition 204162. Right, and similar information you should be able to find out from the requisition screen also. Let us say, we'll navigate back to the requisition screen again. And let's try to check the information from the requisition line. And you can see view approvals. Hopefully we should be able to see it now. Perfect. So we're able to find out the information from the requisition screen also. So we can find the information from the this particular transaction console or database table or from the UI. So these all three places you can find out the information about the requisition information. Okay. Yeah, so this is all about approval workflow for the requisition in the Oracle Fusion. Thank you.